Welcome back to Lord of the Rings. We're about to delve into Moria. Uh, one thing I misspoke in the opening video, I had said that if you play a card with the friendship symbol on it, it's a wild card. Uh, that's incorrect. What I meant was if you pull a token from the bag that has the friendship symbol on it, it can be played as a wild. Uh, so you can move any of the other tracks wild cards. So the cards themselves can't be a friendship card can't be played on this track at all. It's just a lost card. And also, if a track runs out, I think I said, uh, like if this is at the end and you play the tree, the hiding symbol, it acts as a wild card. That is incorrect as well. You don't, uh, you just won't be able to play uh, hiding cards anymore because they won't do anything for you. All right, with those couple clarifications, um, Frodo is up. And so we are going to start trying to get through Moria. Uh, and what I do is I just pull tokens from the bag here uh, instead of... Uh, so the first thing we pull out for Frodo is, of course, something bad. Um, Sauron's either going to move one space ahead or one hobbit is going to move two spaces along the track of corruption. So let's go ahead and move Sauron one space. And we have to keep drawing tokens, of course, until we get a good one, which is either the fight symbol, the hiding symbol, the travel symbol, or the friendship symbol. And the next token we pull out is the fighting symbol. All right, a little bit better. So this is going to move along this track, one space because of that token. And Frodo is going to collect one shield. And now Frodo can play two cards. He can play a gray card and he can play a white card. Uh, and the white hobbit cards for him can be turned into uh, specials uh, or wild cards. Uh, but the uh, feature cards cannot. And so I think he will play Gimli uh, right off and move the this uh, fighting track twice. So he'll get a shield and a ring. So he gets a ring and he gets another shield. So he's going to go from one shield to two. And now he can play a gray card. He could play Anduril and really smoke along that track. Um, or he could play, so he could play this as a wild, but he's going to keep that. He'll play the one traveling card, white card, and move down here and collect one more shield. And so he's going to then go from two shields to three. And that's going to be the end of Frodo's turn. Uh, up next, Sam. All right, so Sam is up now. And we're going to reach into the bag. We're going to pull out a token. And we are going to get the travel symbol. Okay, that's all right. So we're down here. Uh, and Sam is going to collect a shield. Uh, and now he can play two cards if he wants to. A gray and a white. Um... And what's he going to play? I think he's going to play the um, gray hiding symbol, which moves token down here on the hiding track. And he is going to collect the book because uh, it's the book on the track there. And this is a gray hiding card, which he's just played. Uh, so that goes into his hand. And now he can play something else. He will play, I think he's going to play the Gandalf card which gives him a double travel. So that's a white card, so one, two. So he's going to get a sun symbol and another shield. So he gets a sun symbol and he goes from one shield to two. All right, up next, Pippin. All right, so Pippin's turn. And of course we reach into the bag and we pull out a token and we get, well, it's an event that we can cancel uh, if we collectively want to discard one card, one of our life tokens, and one shield, uh, and that's doable, but uh, I think we're going to let that uh, event take place, and it's speak, friend, and enter. The group must discard one friendship card and one wild card, otherwise... Uh, Sauron's going to move ahead one space on the track. And, hmm, 
So I think Frodo is going to take his, he has a one friendship card. So Frodo is going to discard that. And I think uh, Pippin, actually Frodo is going to use that white friendship card as a wild card. Because he can change any uh, white hobbit card to wild card. And Pippin's going to use his gray friendship card uh, for the friendship card. So they have managed to avoid Sauron moving by discarding those cards. All right, we have to keep drawing tokens, of course. And so the next token we draw, let's hope it's something good. And of course it is not. It is another event. Uh, and it is the Watcher in the Water. Each player must discard a hiding symbol, otherwise they have to roll the die. So we'll start with the active player. Uh, he has to discard one hiding symbol card. So he does that. So Pippin does not have to roll the dice. Uh-oh, this could get ugly. Um, Sam has the book that he's picked up, so he will discard that. So he does not have to roll the die. And, and this is where we get into trouble, because this is all Frodo has. Uh, he is unable to... Uh, how do we want to do this? I think we're going to try something a little bit slipperier here. Uh, and because these cards can be played out of order. So Pippin's going to play uh, this card, Minovar, which means one player may pass one card to another player. And so uh, Sam is actually going to pass the book to Frodo, and Frodo is going to use the book uh, and discard it. So this gets discarded as well. Uh, and so Sam now uh, can discard uh, a card not to roll the die, but because Sam only uh, suffers one uh, effect from rolling the die as a special ability, uh, he's going to keep his cards uh, and he's going to suffer that die roll. So maybe that's a bad move, I don't know. But Sam's going to roll the die. And uh, normally every character would have, to, or the character rolling the die would have to discard two cards. Sam only has to discard one card because his special ability, ability is after each die roll suffer, suffer no more than one damage. So he has to get rid of one card. Um, well, that was pretty lame. He'll, he has two gray fight cards. He'll get rid of one gray fight card. Oh! All right, let's keep going here and see what we see. Next token, we need a good one, and we get the hiding symbol token. So that's okay. Uh, and it means Pippin's going to get a ring token. And now, finally, Pippin can play two cards. Um, and if he plays, he's going to go ahead and play Legolas, a white card, and he's going to get a heart and a ring. Uh, so let's give him a heart token, and he gets another ring token, and now he can play one, or he, Pippin's special abilities, he can play any colored cards, it doesn't matter. Uh, and so he will play the one travel symbol card, and that moves this over to the sun symbol, and so he has a sun token. So he has all tokens now, uh, and that's the end of Pippin's turn. Uh, and up next we're going to have Frodo, but I think I'm just going to leave it off there because uh, my voice is going <laughs> and uh, that will be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Join me next time or we'll pick it up again with Frodo. Uh, we are trying to get through the Mo mines of Moria, uh, avoiding the Balrog, of course, uh, and getting out of here uh, and try not to lose the game. All right. Thanks for watching. Join me next time for the continuation of Moria. We're playing Lord of the Rings, the board game. <laughs>